Yeah, I think I think they're a they're a top side. There's um, no question about that. Their results and their points tally will tell you that. And um, the difference between the sides was not huge. Um, you can see that there is a difference. Um, certainly in the first half, I think they probably had the better of the play. But as the game progressed, um, it was much more like a Stevenage performance. The back four was solid. There was an organisation to our attacking players, set pieces, um, start to look as though they knew what they were doing. And um, you know the fitness levels as the game went on started to come on strong. So uh, much more of a Stevenage performance, much more of what we're used to. Not at the winning level, but uh, plenty to be encouraged about, I think. It's, it's good to be back, um, obviously, playing again. Um, it's sort of been a sort of difficult sort of time since the, obviously the first game of the season for myself personally and um, obviously I, I owe big thanks to obviously Paul Dando and, and the medical staff who have um, worked extremely hard to obviously look after me and get me back fit and, and obviously my, my um, surgeon James Calder who's, who's now basically made me pain free but um, it's, it's very disappointing the result obviously today and um, it's, it's, it's a game where really at home we should be Obviously, doing a, a little bit slightly better, but I'm sure we'll, we'll, we'll work hard and we've got another couple of home games coming up and we'll try and put that right. I thought second half there was only one team in it. I thought uh, we reacted to what the gaffer said at half time brilliantly. Um, obviously, there was a few things he wasn't happy with, and I thought we put attention to detail uh, in a very good way second half, and I'm very disappointed to have lost the game because I thought we were the better team.